friends in this video lecture i'm going to discuss about non primitive data types in the last video lecture i have already discussed about the primitive data types so let's continue with our discussion on non primitive data types non primitive data types are also known as reference types or object types these types are generally termed as wrapper classes so this data type is divided into further divided into various types so let's see how these data types are uh, divided non primitive data type uh, also known as objects so these are divided into non array non array further divided into wrapper types wrapper types in wrapper types we have a boolean byte short integer long character float double and second type in non array type data type is non wrapper non wrapper types include strings states and many others we will discuss non wrapper types in the in the next uh, lectures so in uh, in second non array non primitive data type is a array type which includes integer array of integers array of strings and many others so uh, now let's uh, discuss about what are the wrapper classes wrapper classes as we already studied about the primitive data types in the last lecture from there discussion is continued for each primitive data type there is also a corresponding object type generally termed as wrapper classes wrapper classes are part of java.lang package which is imported by default into java programs so these are the these are the this is this is a jack type this is in below this is the wrapper type below this is the primitive type uh, then our uh, integer it is a it is a non primitive type or object type this whole makes or uh, makes the wrapper class so wrapper classes are a part of java.lang package which is imported by default into java programs now what is the purpose of wrapper types or wrapper classes it provides a mechanism to wrap primitive values in an object second purpose is to provide a variety of utility functions for converting primitive types to and from string objects converting to various bases like binary octal hexa comparing various objects these are the purposes of wrapper classes so how to declare non primitive data types as we have uh, discussed in the last lecture we have declared in we have declared primitive type primitive type like this integer in short int then p equals to 100 so uh, in non primitive type we declare it like this integer p is equal to new integer 100 this is a constructor this is a object uh, or a class with same name so object is initialized with values 100 and reference to the object is assigned to object p so now let's write a program to declare a non primitive data types using wrapper classes integer double character so let's see how this program how is the program we write class we make the class wrap public static void main string wrap then primitive declaration we declare primitive types like this now in non primitive declaration we declare or declare like this integer then name of the object then new integer in this we are assigning the value to object h that is 100 now let's print how we will how we print it with the same way as in in primitive declaration this is the way to print same with double same with character we have in this in non primitive we are uh, using full names integer here also integer this is a constructor part this is a constructor this is a belongs to wrapper class so uh, this is a in, integer is just an uh, is just a primitive type this is a non primitive type so let's run our uh, run this program and see the difference there is no difference between this just just a difference of the 
objects and the in primitive types as we already discussed that primitive type is a uh, built in uh, built in data type that is a predefined uh, predefined types primitive types but these are the objects this is just a wrapper classes it is wrapping the primitive types nothing else so let's dis let's uh, uh, let's uh, see the demo uh, and uh, see the output of this so cd desktop now uh, java c wrap dot java now let's run it this is the output of the primitive data type is equals to 100 as we give her value 100 and non primitive type also having giving same thing as the primitive type this is a double this is a character type so this is the this is a non primitive data types now in the further lectures in the further lecture in the next lecture i'm going to discuss about other type that is a non wrapper classes uh, in in which we are discuss in which we will discuss about the strings dates calendars etc so uh, for give me some time to prepare the video on this lecture so uh, practice these uh, practice these concepts and so this is all about uh, about non primitive data types thank you